Hey guys, it's Kristen over at Retro Cafe Art Gallery and I just want to show you a really cool new little product that is in the shop. I know a lot of you have already been playing with artist trading coins. Here's a little Frida coin that I did earlier and um, basically they are 2.5 inch circles and the concept is very similar to artist trading cards except they are circular coin shape. And we already have some fun artist trading coin supplies in the shop. We have um, some other stencils which I actually used on this little coin here around the edge. We have um, the very useful artist trading coin blanks and they're made out of a durable chipboard and the thickness I think is very perfect for this type of application. Um, it's thin but it's very very durable so it's not going to bend or get crushed in the mail if you are mailing these out to people and so I think it's just perfect. And there's also an artist trading coin kit in the shop that comes with the chipboard blanks and it comes with uh, four cool stencils for you to use on your coins. And then it also comes with some paper overlays if you want to do collage on top of them. But today, um, I wanna show you something brand new. I definitely like to do borders on the edges of my artwork and coins, especially the way they are circular, is just screaming for some borders. So I designed these little uh, border stencils. They're, I'm, calling them masks so they're really more of a mask because you're going to lay them on uh, on top of your coin presumably after your artwork is completed so we have a um, some larger dots we have some smaller dots and then we have this really cool one um, that ends up kind of looking like a, um, a poker chip on the edges once you're finished or check checkered board shape but what I really want to show you what I think is extra cool about these is that um, once you lay down one color, and I did, the, did actually did this on all three of these, once you lay down one color, you could turn it ever just so slightly and cover up your first color and add a second color. So here I have the black showing. If I turn it, you could see where I went ahead and laid down my white after that. And you could also, if you wanted to, just do three different colors alternating and then turn it and do three other colors. So in theory, you could have six colors going all the way around. Not only that, you could also combine them. So once you have your checkerboard border, you could always add one of the dot borders and go ahead and fill that in. And so you come up with pretty much unlimited combinations with these, because you can combine them, you can turn them, you can alternate your colors. So I'm just going to show you really quickly how easy these are to use. I'm using my favorite one. So I just have one of our chipboard coin blanks here. And I'm just going to lay this little mask on top. You could always tape it down, but I'm just gonna go ahead and hold it. The stencil board is pretty durable. And I am using three Signo gel pens. I have white, black, and gold. And I'm just gonna start with black and just color in that little notch there. And go really fast. The stencil is very durable and it's gonna hold up to that pen. And you can use paint, you can use a sponge brush, you can use whatever you like, you can use spray paint. If you're gonna use spray paint, of course, I would recommend taping down your little stencil so that it doesn't blow around. I like to use paint, painter's tape because then you can remove it quite easily. So I'm not gonna go completely around because you get the idea, I'm just coloring the little notches. Okay. And so I'm gonna let that dry for just a couple seconds blow on it a little bit okay and so once you have that down I'm just going to turn it so that the little notches are covering up my black and then I'm just going to take my white pen and then I'm just going to color that in it's so easy and fun to use these I find it very relaxing also because you're just kind of doodling. Okay. Let me go back over this one a little bit. And there you go. So I'm going to take that off. And there you have it. You have your white and your black. I'm going to just let that dry. For a couple seconds. Because I want to show you too how you can kind of take it and just overlap a little bit and then put in a third color. I'm going to go ahead and use gold 
for that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna line this up so it's overlapping, so each color is showing half and half. Lay it down again. If I had like a pink marker or a bright color, that's probably what I would use to add a nice little pop of color here over the black and over the white. But I'm just gonna use what I have on hand here on the table. And we do have these Signo gel pens in the shop as well. And there you have it. So now we have the three colors going around the border there. We have the white, the black, and the gold. And I didn't really let them dry enough in between. But if you get a little smudge, you can just go right over it with your color, brighten it up a little bit. You could even let it dry and put the stencil back on and touch it up just a little bit. So there you have it. I hope you guys really like these and I hope you guys give them a try and I can't wait to see what you create. Thank you so much. Bye.